if you're getting this message on steam whenever you try to launch the game which says running install script microsoft tvc redistributable then i will guide you on how to fix this problem so listen to this tutorial very carefully now fix running install script microsoft tvc redistributable on steam as you see it here on the screenshot to fix this problem is very easy this is the first step you need to try is delete the app info file so in most cases a lot of people are able to find the solution by deleting the app info file and you can find the app info file by opening program files then program files 86 then steam app cache then app info dot vdf now let me show you just open your program files then go to your pc and open the local disk c depending on where you are your steam is installed now open local disk c then program files then just open the steam folder then you'll see here the app cache now open the app cache and delete this app info dot vdf just delete it or you can just copy it and i mean you can just cut it just remove it and paste it on the folder where it's not found here or just simply delete it the best way just delete this after deleting it then listen here very carefully after deleting it after deleting the app info folder then restart steam and try again so after deleting it just restart steam and try again if you have do so but you're still facing the same problem then verify integrity of your game files now to verify integrity of your game files is very easy just open steam now go to your steam library now look for the game that is bringing issues that is that is bringing that error message just right click on that game that has some issues and then go to properties go to installed files and select verify integrity of game files now this will run a repair and try to check for any corrupted files and your game will be repaired after the verification is over you can try to launch the game to see if the problem has been resolved if you're still facing the same problem even after verifying integrity of your game files then try downloading the latest microsoft visual c plus plus redistributable now first make sure you check on your control panel if the microsoft visual c plus plus redistributable is installed now here is the control panel on you just open control panel then go to programs then go to programs and features and you'll see all the apps that is installed on your computer as you can see i have these files installed which is microsoft visual c plus plus if you don't have make sure you download them also if you have them you can also try uninstalling them just uninstall all of these microsoft visual c plus plus from all the make sure all the microsoft visual c plus plus files you uninstall them after uninstalling them then just come to this website which the link will be available on the description and then you can download the latest microsoft visual c plus plus redistributable version so i'll leave the link in the description just make sure to download the latest version so just uninstalling them you can try uninstall them or if you don't have just download them or if you have them like me just uninstall uninstall all of them and then download the latest microsoft visual c plus plus redistributable version if you do so and you've installed them then you can try install both the 86 and the 64 version as you can see there is 86 and 64 so i need you to install all of them just download and install all of the versions which is install both the 86 and the 64 version then you can try to restart your computer after the installation so if you do so but you're still facing again the same problem which says running install script in microsoft tvs microsoft tvc redistributable then let's go to another step which is delete the install script vdf actually i saw someone recommended this on reddit someone of, was facing this problem as you can see launching running and running install script in microsoft tvc redistributable someone of, was facing this problem and actually someone recommended this just said fix it i just had to delete this which is c program files just go to 86 c program files 86 then go to steam then go to steam apps and then go to common then go to steamworks and then steamworks shared just go to common steamworks shared then go to common redist then go to vc redist then you'll find the version here of your vc redist 
then you'll find this install script.vdf. So after he has deleted this install script.vdf, then the program he was able to launch the game without any issues. As you can see, crazy this actually worked. So as you can see, crazy this actually worked. As you can see, this positive response which shows this also works. So you can try to see if it can help you fix this problem. Just look to this location very careful. I have copied it here, as you can see. Just go to program files 86, go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Steamworks, Steamworks Shared, and then go to Common Redist, VC Redist. Then you'll find here your VC Redist version. It can be 2010 or can be 2013. Just open the folder, any folder, then you'll find this install script.vdf. So open the folder for your version, and then you'll find this install script.vdf. Just delete the install script.vdf. Then you can try relaunching Steam to see if the problem has been resolved. If you have do so, but you're still facing the same problem again, then just close the Steam and launch it as an administrator. Just close the Steam. You can close it directly. You can close it here just by typing the X. Then come here on the hidden icons on your, the corner here. Then just paste, just open this arrow here and then just make sure to exit Steam. So after exiting Steam, then you can try to relaunch it as an administrator from the home screen here. Just launch it as an administrator to see if the problem has been resolved. If you do so, but you're still facing the same problem, even after closing Steam and launch it as an administrator, then try to disable your antivirus program and try to launch the game to see if the problem has been resolved. But I'm 100% sure if you follow these steps very correctly, just play this video very carefully and you will be able to fix this problem.